and Ollie Mann's here to speak to me now. I Hello, only yeah. go on after Dennis McShane if I can. <laughs> He's talk my support. <laughs> talk to me about gadgets. Yes. Uh, well, I have here what appears to be, Kate, uh, a blender with an iPhone stuck in yeah, it. Yeah, it's a bit weird looking. I thought you might put it in the front of your car or something. <laughs> what is it? Uh, it's a karaoke machine. Oh, really? Uh, it's called the iMusic Station. Now, time was a karaoke machine used to cost hundreds of pounds. You used to have to buy effectively a duplicate of what you get in the pub mm. uh, and you sing along to. For a to. good reason, most people shouldn't shouldn't really want to buy them, should they? Well, <laughs> possibly. I'm slightly inclined, but anyway. Uh, this is 50 quid, so I was quite exciting. Okay. I thought that sounds like a good idea. Or does it? Mm. Uh, the best way to put this to the test, of course, mm. was to run it past the singing skills of BFBS DJ Mike Howarth and his producer. And I, I want to share... Oh dear, and I thought they knew about good sound working in radio. <laughs> I think they're making sweet, sweet music. Oh yes, they do look like they get on at least. Um, so... Uh... <laughs> so anyway, as you can see, uh, the iPhone, as you plug it into the device, basically becomes your karaoke screen. Yes. You download tracks for 99 pence each, mm. and then you sing along through the mic. It seems like a good idea. Is it any good? Well, let's see what they think yeah, first. Okay. I think it's okay. I think it's quite tinny in the sound of the music. Um, but I think if you really love singing and you just can't stop, then maybe you could take it away with you on a tour because it's small enough. Yeah, again, I think, you know, it's, it's a good laugh. It's a bit of fun. You're not going to win the X Factor with it. <laughs> no, he's not, is he? <laughs> a bad workman blames their tools. Oh, that's all well, I'm going to say about it, that. Let's face it, it's cheap and that's the only good thing about it, really. It is cheap. But, you know, for 50 quid, you might be thinking, is it, look, it's not good enough, frankly, for, for a karaoke party. The sound is tinny. Mm. Is it good enough for a kid's bedroom? Mm. Honestly, I think you know it what? would break. You could just sing in, in the shower. Bedroom. You could just sing in the shower. Let's move on. Um, well, something I do like. <laughs> okay. Something that does, unlike this, have a rechargeable battery, which is essential for all gadgets, I think. Go on. Uh, it's this kind of white cube. It comes in five colours, by the way, but I think because we're Forces News, they've sent us the masculine white Very version. Minimalist. Uh, yes, it is minimalist. Uh, it's a Wi Fi internet radio. Uh, but what's cool about it, as you can see, it has no buttons. Now, it's called the Q2. Uh, mm. I took it home to have a play. Here's how it works. Wow. The queue. Want to change it again? But Fish, you, bash, bosh. Do you just have to guess which station you're on, though? Well, what you do is you preset <laughs> your four favourite stations, and to turn the volume down, you just simply tilt it forwards like that, and, and vice versa to make it go loud. The award goes to you for 1970s filming combined with latest <laughs> technology, though, while well, it has to be said. I like to, I like to splice genres together. Yes. Uh, I think this is wicked. £90, mm. pounds, okay. uh, which is quite pricey. The problem is... Its triumph is also its tragedy. Mm. You know, it's really cool that it doesn't have any buttons, that it relies entirely on the mm. sort of inner accelerometer. The problem with it is it doesn't have any buttons. So when it goes wrong, you've no idea You're why. Uh, and you can only select four presets uh, mm. on your computer. So, I mean, who it in internet radio science, only basically. wants four stations? It does, yeah. Mm. You, want a, you want an internet hexagon. Mm. Uh, but as a second sort of device, as something to get people talking in your sitting room, love it. Very quickly, uh, what's your last thing this week? Yes, something totally different now. Meet uh, Lyndon Batty from uh, Knox City, Texas. Now, he's a child with uh, polycystic kidney disease, which means he has a very low immune system and is confined to his house. Mm. Uh, but look, through uh, a Vigo telepresence robot surrogate, he's able to attend lessons wow. at school. Uh, so there he is. He's kind of controlling it from home using a webcam. Yes. I, mean, I mean, basically, it's a webcam on wheels, but it's got a 10-hour battery, so he can do a whole school day. He can interact with his friends at school, and the idea is to replicate as closely as possible without human contact the day he'd be having at school anyway. Good for him. What if he gets detention, though? Detention? Yeah. The battery would run out. <laughs> yeah, it's the best excuse so. of all, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Good to see you, Ollie. Thank you very much for coming Good in. See you too.